Now time for a very special award. Each year, the DJ Mag editorial team highlight an artist who has contributed and continues to contribute greatly to the world of dance music. This year's winner is a trailblazer for British dance music, and over the last 30 years, she's enjoyed residencies at iconic venues and club nights, including Heaven, The Hacienda, Ministry of Sound, and all across Ibiza. She is an incredible talent and DJ, and this year's Lifetime Achievement Award goes to DJ Paulette. Oh my God, is this for me? I could lick it. I just, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. I just want to say a massive big thank you to my family, obviously, to my mum, my sisters, my brother, to all of my friends who've stood by me for the 30 years, the highs, the lows, the everything, and to everyone who has ever danced to my music. Thank you so much. But most of all, this is for the people of Manchester who have looked after me from the beginning to right now. So thank you, Sophie B. Most of all, thank you, Paul Combs and Lucy Sher, because I wouldn't be a DJ if it wasn't for Flesh at the Hacienda. Thank you to the Hacienda as well. Thank you to every club I've ever played at, from Manchester to London to Paris to Ibiza, all the way back, right back at the Hacienda. 2022, where I belong. Thank you. I've been DJing since 1992. I've been in England, I've been in France, I've been in Spain, and then back to Manchester, where I am right now. I started DJing at the Hacienda in 1992. The party that I started at was called Flesh at the Hacienda. It was a gay party for lesbians, gays, and their friends. In 1992, that was radical. When I started DJing, there really weren't very many women DJing at all. Because of Lucy Sher, she made a point of putting women up front. So how did I then make the leap from DJing to doing PR for Talking Loud, Giles Peterson, Manifesto, Eddie Gordon? I don't know, I just figured it out. And then I worked on Ronnie Sides and Represent. I did all the press for that. I managed to sign Afro and Reduces Casilda, which is a record that is still kicking around in 2022. I moved to Paris in 2004 and the world just opened up and I became a French DJ and I played with some enormous stars and then a weird thing happened. I've lost my feel for the music. I came back to Manchester in 2015 and I had a very clear vision of what I needed to do to stake my place in the history of the city. In 2018, the Lowry Art Gallery approached me and they asked me to do an exhibition and the exhibition was called called Homebird. It was a real black story about what it's been to grow up black, to be a black woman in the music industry, in radio, in TV. It's like a gallery disruption. And I am a disruptor. Manchester is a political city, you've got to be. It always comes back down to the music. As soon as you can find who you are in the music, then everything else follows.